so welcome back to python tutorial and in this module we are going to be talking about class and objects and so we've actually entered into object or oriented program language and this um, module can actually be longer than the rest of the module that has been coming through so let's see what we've got so uh, i've skipped the array because we've actually talked about most of the basic things you need to know about the array when we're talking about the list and uh, in future videos i uh, will be showing you an advanced uh, concept of array so right now let's just talk about the uh, the classes object the classes and objects the inheritance so then we really need to get ourselves done with the part one let's just go ahead and dive right now to come talking too much um the first thing to do is just to create simply create a new file i'm just going to name it class.py um Let's just proceed. Don't really get the Shaban like to become religious, so um, you can decide to do it, you can decide not to do it. But for some reason, yeah, I just think you're supposed to do it. Alright, let's just get the, the, the concept thing. So, the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm just going to define a class, and also I'm going to define uh, an object. So, uh, an object is anything that actually have a property and a method so that's actually what an object is so in real life we have different kind of object so you can say like computer is an object uh, car is an object um, pencil is an object book is an object and all those things I've mentioned they probably even human being is an object we probably have our own methods and, and properties so human methods is like we can talk we can walk we can eat we can sleep or we can advance we can think evolutionary and that so a car method is that it can move it can sp it can actually pause it can start it can it can it can drive it can reverse and um, those are the basic things so what is a class now so a class is definitely a blueprint of an object which contains uh, objects properties and method um, what am I actually saying about a class now? So, if we actually say class of animal, so we definitely know that if we have a, a class of animal, you're not going to put a woman inside, a, sorry, a human inside a class of animal. You definitely just want to pick anything that actually have a four legs, that actually have four legs, that, that is crawling or that is obviously an animal. And that is how to really get the concept of the class and object so to really make this simple i'm just going to use a class a car because a car is actually uh a very very common way to express an object so let's just go by class of car and class of car like that so we just have a class of car where we just um what's it called divine class of car and before we actually go around so a car can actually have a properties let's just go ahead and um created the properties of a car so we can say okay the car can actually have something uh called we can have a name at first so the name of the car we can call it bmw and now uh, we can have a weight yeah car do have a weight for some reason uh maybe 350 kg i don't know uh 350 kg just as in that it can also have a color maybe color of uh, red okay then that's all this is just a, an, a class ready so we definitely can create an object of uh, a class of a, a car a class of car then we continue to give it a, a properties and let's just see what is actually going to so to use this cl uh, class that we've created we really need to create an instance of this car so where am i saying we need to create something that belongs to this class and i just say okay my car equals to car like that and that's all that's just all we really have to so my car equals to car so my car is actually belonging to the class of car and the class of car <laughs> i'm actually having all these properties because it's actually belonging to it so i can just say my car dot name dot color so let's just see what is happening when we try to print my car dot name and if i say python 3 
uh, was Dwider I think it's class you can see my hardware's name is actually um, BMW and uh, if I really try to print okay my car there's color right here um, equals to red and um, you can see my car is actually inherit uh, all these are what's called properties that are actually defined inside of this car so you can actually create okay my second car equals to car again and um, you you realize that if I actually do the same thing let me just clear this off so you did nothing I like, say okay sorry my second car dot name and uh, it's definitely going to bring out the same name so it's a BMW so maybe for some reason my second car is actually have another name so a different name I can just say okay my second car dot name is equals to so I probably I'm using Volvo so next time I print out my second car dot name it's just going to split out Volvo into the screen for me you can see so that's how I can actually go ahead and manipulate the these are these are properties so I've not actually started creating the method this definitely definitely a property of the of this class so let's just go ahead and create a method so a method is actually simple it's just like embedding a function within your class so def so um, a, 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 me a method now so or you call it a function so just use method is just the technical way to get this really understand so a car can move so we can say okay um let's just go ahead and move we can say okay they will move so since we are moving we can just say frame okay we can just say frame uh I, I actually want to use f string right here so my car is okay let's just say car then i want to print out the name so i really want to use um, the name name um then comma is moving i think that's what i want to do for now so i can just i should just be able to go ahead and say my second car dot move i should just be able to say okay my second car okay starts moving uh takes position all right I think uh, I really, really have to do that. Name, okay, save dot name now. So it should be save dot name. Don't mind me. I'm going to actually, yeah, it's a car Volvo is moving. Um, and that's because I actually changed my name to Volvo. So I have car Volvo is moving. If I actually do and say my car, there it's move. And that one should just tell me car BMW is moving, car Volvo is moving. Okay, let me just return um, the concept about this save though that I forgot to put in that I reached out putting. And that is because whenever you refer to the save, save is pointing to the to this class, it's pointing to the car itself. So it's just as if I'm doing um something like car just imagine it's like you are doing something like car sorry car dot name like that so you get the idea <laughs> if that can work that's actually stupid and it works <laughs> it actually works but this is no is actually pointing out to the to the car that right directly you can see we are definitely having issue right here so the two of them is bmw instead of returning volvo and bmw or bmw and volvo so when you actually, actually ever use save so save always I return to the parent uh, always mean the parent class so the class itself yeah let, let me just say the class itself so these are the properties and these are the method so let's just create another method here you can see dev of stop so get the idea itself then we can say print me um, an f string so car save dot name is stop okay so like that so someone needs to stop the car so when we say move then we can say my second car dot stop so the car should stop right now so you can say um the nw is moving like uh, my car Volvo is moving 
cover voice stopped and uh, you can do the same thing on this guy too so my car dot stop so it does stop okay so this is moving this is stop and it doesn't really matter how you call this guy you can actually call them um let's just do something like probably they are moving then you they are actually moving so right here you just want to say my car dot stop doesn't matter where you call it you can actually call it or pull it up anyway let me clear this to have a better screen so you can say bmw is moving uh volvo is moving bmw is stopped so volvo is still moving there we can say okay uh my second car dot stop so we can stop it to like that so you can say uh bmw is stopped volvo is stopped so you get the idea of the little concept of a class all right um that's just the basic of class i want to show you there is actually another thing that i actually want to show you which is very very, very which is also important um instead of passing all these are uh, information the car the weight like that uh passing it actually directly or having the default set on the within the class container like that there is actually another way we can do this through something called co a constructor so in python if you use def underscore underscore init actually stand as a con co constructor and um, right inside here this dev in it takes some parameters so the first parameter needs to refer to the self so this save is actually talking about the class itself don't forget that and right here we can define whatsoever we want to use we can say name uh color um weight like that and uh, this is the job is not actually done python doesn't automatically do this for us we need to now specify all these um properties that we set up we need to go ahead and go ahead and initialize them so we can just save dot name equals to name so just like that save dot color equals to color and can say save dot weight equals to weight so so too easy right okay what we actually doing is that so the first time we run this code the class is going to automatically create all these uh uh all these are uh, values for for itself it's going to it's going to create all this value and then after all this value has been set has been created it's going to assign them inside the variable of name of color and of weight so each time we call this we can definitely use them and uh, if i run this code right now is do you think it's going to work no it's actually not going to work it's just going to yeah what do i do it's a move on then doesn't match so i have some indentation error here um where is that exactly dev of move move okay i see it i see it all right that's what i want this um, this is the error i actually want to show you it's a missing three required position argument name color and weight and that is because each time we create an instance of this car um is actually expecting us to set up all this variable inside it so it's expecting us to go ahead and put all this variable inside so what we can do is just okay so the first variable is the name uh so it says um toyota okay so the second variable is actually the color right now we are using yellow and the third variable is the weights now we can we are using probably narrow and red that's too much an, of an exaggeration for me um on this second class right here so what are we using probably um we are using bands so so we're actually using bands just spray on so what's the color of the bands we are using we are definitely using, using black then what's the weight is actually 500 so if i try to run this code again let me clear this off you can see everything is actually working fine say okay toyota is moving um volvo yeah we are still having volvo because i still have this one being manipulated right here so if you save it, it should actually be clear like that so let's say toyota is moving brains is moving say um um 
Twitter is stopped, Benz is stopped, and that is how we can actually use um the constructor to create cla classes. So in the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about the inheritance. See you in the next tutorial, please.